some of you might already be well aware, but I thought I'd mention it, is that one of the largest Filipino-American communities on the East Coast is here in the Hampton Roads region. So Virginia Beach, Richmond, Hampton, uh, Portsmouth, uh, that area, due to uh, historic U.S. naval recruitment. And so my, um, I'm a product of, that. my family is a product of that. And so, so right now, uh, my mom is prepping the ingredients. So she's cutting the onion. And this uh, chicken uh, adobo or pork adobo is actually a pretty easy dish to make. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients. That's why it's very popular to make because it requires very little prep and very few ingredients. It was one of the few dishes I was able to master when I was in graduate school. <laughs> so I, I survived from adobo, otherwise I would have been one of those starving ramen noodle college kids. <laughs> so, so I have much to thank for with uh, adobo. And so, as you can see, she's uh, cutting the onions and she's placed them here. As you, oh, you can see it there in the mirror, is that correct? You see it there? Yeah. So it's, it's in large chunks of, she's cutting in quarters. And then right now she's, another main ingredient that's part of adobo is the garlic, preferably fresh garlic, because later on when these ingredients are placed together, we'll make, we'll make a stew. And so the garlic will infuse with the onion. And so right now she's, she's mincing, or she's cutting the garlic in, in small uh, pieces. But it doesn't, it's not a very precise dish. You make as much, you can cut as much onion or as little to taste. So if you prefer garlic and less onion, you can adjust that. We're just doing the, the basic version. So we have one onion and then one clove of garlic. And then, so, Bay leaf is an essential ingredient because it softens the meat mm -hmm. and it infuses the ingredients. And then we also have uh, black pepper. And so she's crushing that <laughs> and placing that there. So here we have the ingredients that, that create the stew. And so we have a half a cup of vinegar and vinegar is one of the most essential components for adobo. All adobo has the vinegar uh, aspect of it. It also preserves the food longer. And where uh, the Philippines is primarily ag um, an agrarian country where it can stand in, in the heat for days. And so you have the vinegar, and then you have half a cup of soy sauce. So vinegar and soy sauce are really the essential uh, liquid parts of adobo. And so she's, in, she's placed that all together with the onions, the garlic, the bay leaf, and the pepper. And now we have chicken. It can be made in a lot of different ways. You can make it with chicken. If you prefer pork, you can also do that. Um, and sometimes people combine the two. So, so right now she's cutting the chicken and it's in um, it's very liberally cutting it. Again, when it's infused with the ingredients, it will tenderize with the bay leaf. So, and so uh, I should also mention that adobo is a, a type of essential dish where you can make a lot of different variations of it. When I was in grad school and running out of food options, I thought, well, I can put tomato in it. It's good. Uh, sometimes I put mushroom. Again, it's really, the, you can put different vegetables in it to taste. The main essential aspect of it is that you have your onion, you have your garlic, you have your soy sauce and vinegar, and soy sauce and vinegar are in equal parts. Otherwise, if you put too much vinegar, you'd be a little vinegary. <laughs> so you wanna make sure that if you are making a larger portion that it's in equal parts. Okay. And so notice that it's all together in, in, in the pot. So it's all together. And so she's just stirring it together. Okay, so she says to stir it together and marinate it for an hour. But we can also cook it after you mix it together. We can hold yeah. it for 20 minutes. Okay, so she's saying that you can marinate it for uh, an hour or you can just boil it. If you don't have time to, if you don't have an hour and you're hungry, which I can relate to, <laughs> you can just uh, 
set it there on the stove on medium heat for 20 minutes. And so, so after 20, mi 20 minutes simmer and 10 minutes uh, medium high, uh, wait till it's tender and fully cooked and it's ready to serve. And now we have food ready for you. You can just wait and we will serve you the cooked one. Yeah. <laughs> so it's one of these, I mean, if Rachel Ray did a show, like you know how she does those 30 minute shows, I always think she's got to do a dobo one day <laughs> because it really is a meal that could be prepared in, in 30 minutes. And also you can use any type of meat, uh, um, pork, uh, beef, or chicken, or any, any even fish sometimes. <laughs> yes. Same ingredients, and it will last you uh, overnight, or two days to three days in the frigidaire because of the beating girl. <laughs> and then I should also mention that uh, the, the core meal in the Filipino culture would be a stew and then rice to serve with it. And so we also prepared you um, dessert, which is made of yuca, uh, yuca with um, uh, the flan on top of it. <laughs> so enjoy we, our prepared food. So we will bring it out to you. Okay, so we're going to show you the finished, uh, the finished product of what adobo would look like. So mom, you can grab that. We'll grab that out of yeah. the oven. Okay. And so we're going to show it here on the mirror yes. of what it, do you have the view there? Can you see it? Yeah, you can. So this is what chicken adobo would look like. You can see in the mirror, yeah. <laughs> and so it's infused with this, uh, this, the vinegar and the soy sauce. And in this case, we decided to put pineapple in it and so for a garnish. And so, yeah. <laughs> Okay, thank you. We're going to bring out the samples. Are, in the meantime, are there any questions? Okay, David. Does, it, does the recipe vary from region to region? Within the Philippines? That's an excellent question, and, and I would say yes. That it does vary from region to region. That some of the farming villages might prefer a certain type. They might even prefer with fish, for instance. And then uh, the area where my parents are from, we usually use chicken. And so, absolutely. But then in the deeper south of the Philippines, the Mindanao, it's partly Muslim, so they wouldn't have pork. It would just be chicken. So, absolutely. Absolutely. So, yeah. That's a great question. And so, for me, I'm a thigh girl. <laughs> so, I, I prefer the chicken thighs, but oftentimes, you can use the drumettes here. It, adobo is really the type of dish that whichever cut that you prefer. And also, in, if you use a certain uh, type of cut of meat and you know that it, it's a little bit um, firmer than you, or more firm, then you want to make sure that you put in an extra bay leaf. So that will tenderize the meat. Mm -hmm. So, thanks. Oh, the recipe for the cassava cake. So my mom knows the details. So I can tell you the ingredients and then she can tell you the amount. But it's primarily, it's the way that I would describe it is like it's kind of like flan. Have any of you ever had flan? Yeah, so it's, um, I would say it's a grated coconut. And there's also milk. There's also, um, there's also sugar in it. And she layers it. And so I believe she puts the grated coconut at the bottom, and then she puts the coconut milk. And then there's also, um, there's also another ingredient that's typical in flan that's made in this cassava cake, which the name I forget right now. It'll come back to me. But I believe it's, um, I'm trying to remember it. Sweetened condensed milk. Now I remember. So that's also a core ingredient, and that gives it the creamy part of it. And so when my mom comes back, we'll definitely give more details on the amount. Mm -hmm. And then she also uses eggs. So, so here she comes with the cassava. Is that the cassava cake, mom? Yeah. So. Mm -hmm.
Pardon? Oh, so my mother, uh, my mother made chicken adobo, chicken and pork adobo, and cassava cake, which is coconut cake. Come join us. Have some, please. Okay. I, sh um, I should also mention that Filipino desserts are often, uh, they're often milk-based and coconut-based. And so they're a little bit more subtle in respect to the sweetness factor, at least compared to American desserts. <laughs> so, yeah. Mom, do you mind coming up? They wanted to know the details about the cassava cake. Okay. Oh, the adobo? And the, right now they're preparing the adobo samples. Okay, so stick around while my mother explains a little bit more about the cassava cake. She's definitely the expert, and I am the fortunate one to, <laughs> to eat it. So here we go. So mom, I, I, I explained briefly some of the ingredients in the cassava cake and they were, the audience was wondering if you could share in more detail sure. how to prepare it. Sure, it's very, uh, the, you can buy a yuca, grated yuca at the Oriental grocery store and it's one frozen package um, and one, one of that, one condensed milk, one evaporated milk, three egg yolks and one butter, one stick of butter. And then for the plant, cook it, uh, uh, cook it in the oven, 350 degrees for at least 25 minutes. When it's halfway cooked, add the plant. The mixture of the plant is, um, let me breathe. You're doing great, mom. Uh, the mixture of the plant is uh, 10 egg yolks, one can of condensed milk, and one uh, can of uh, evaporated milk. If you can use the, the other kind of milk, but, I, but that's good. And a little bit of, uh, if you would like to add um, vanilla, or uh, what they call this, the, the um, yeah, vanilla, or any flavor would you, you would like to add to your plant. And put it on top, it, when the yucca is halfway cooked, put it on top and bake it again another 20 minutes. It should be taste like that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so now we're bringing out the adobo samples, and we hope that you like it. We encourage you when you when you eat it to really take in the the, the sauce and really try that because that combination of soy sauce and vinegar really distinguishes that dish as adobo. 